Hello, welcome to Switched On, Paul speaking. I'm having a little bit of an exclusive look at a game coming out on the eShop at the end of December, and that's Rush Rally 3, which comes from Brown Monster Games. And believe it or not, you might be uh, absolutely amazed when you see this game in action. This is made by one person. Everything you see in this game, from the graphics, the physics, everything is made by one person. Quite incredible. Um, this game has been around for quite a while on mobile devices, on the Android and iPhone. Uh, Rush Rally 1, Rush Rally 2, and uh, obviously most recently Rush Rally 3, and now it's being ported to the Switch. Um, and I have to tell you, if you're a racing fan, you're going to be blown away. Firstly, as I say, it's at 23rd of December, it's at £11.99 and $14.99, so a really nice budget price. Um, but I have been having so much fun with this game. I've, I've followed this game for a little while on iPhone, and uh, it's not quite, you know, when you're playing the um, iPhone version, you've got the touch screen controls. It's never quite the same, although Rush Ready 3 has got uh, controller support now with iOS 11. But, um, you know, it's much nicer to use the controller uh, which the switch brings so let's just have a look around this game I'm just gonna dive straight into a single stage just while I'm chatting away here and then we'll come back and have a look at some of the um, other features in a little while let's go to a different rally because I've done f uh, Finland or Iceland wherever it was Finland um, we're gonna go to Mexico be a nice dusty sunny track this is the first car I've unlocked there's plenty of cars um, in all different classes. Now there's nothing uh, licensed here, of course, being from a small um, developer, but you can tell what the cards are. I mean, that's a, a Ford Escort, isn't it? And look, a Fjord Rally, <laughs> but uh, a Ford Escort. Yeah, Nissan Micro, Lancer, Impreza. So you see, they're all sort of um, based on real life cars. And um, Look at that classic Colin McRae Subaru Impreza. Um, this game has got a customization of cars as well. So, I mean, you're just going to be amazed, really. Basically, when you uh, when you see this game in motion and as we go through it a little bit more, you're going to be absolutely stunned, I think, by uh, what this game offers, certainly for the price. And as I say, consider that it was made by one guy. Uh, quite incredible. Performance in this is absolutely superb. Um, runs... Default 60 frames a second. Although it has tons of options. If we go into the options here, you can actually change um, per device. So whether you're in handheld or TV mode, we're in TV mode at the moment. You can see that it's 1080p, 60 frames a second, and you can change any of these options. Absolutely superb options to have. You know, 30, 60, or maximum frame rate that you can achieve turn off all these effects you can turn up the detail absolutely incredible you can even if you want to turn down the resolution why you'd want to i don't know but there you go all the way down to 360p you can see how blurry that gets absolutely amazing stuff um one of the really cool things about this game as well and it was a really good feature of the iphone version because obviously uh phones and ipads are a little bit more limited for space or they were back in the day when uh, when this game first came out but this game is um just the, the graphics uh procedurally generated on the fly now the track layouts are the same so this isn't some sort of random roguelike where you're going to get different tracks every time the actual sort of um stages are the same tracks but what I mean is that the graphics are loaded in from just a few assets. Very, very clever technique. So let's get into a rally. You'll see how smooth and how quick it is. It's going to be awful, of course, because I can't really hear the uh, narrator the uh, who's helping me with the turns. But I'll do my best, so please forgive my rubbish driving. But if you've been watching Switched On for any amount of time, You'll be well used to this by now. Um, so you can see the graphics are a little bit basic. Certainly the car interior is. I mean, I quite like the um, the environments. And as I say, considering they're being drawn from just a few assets uh, on the fly. Very, very clever technique. Keeps the install of this game very small. I think it's like 400 meg, the install of this game, which is absolutely incredible for the amount of tracks and cars it's got. Superb technical achievement. Um, 
So as I say, the interior is a little bit basic, but the, uh, the, the outside is quite cool. Certainly, I would say no worse than the most recent WRC8, which uh, at times I felt just had absolutely awful graphics, especially considering the, the sort of budget and price point that was. Um, this is at least on a par with that. So let's flick through some of the camera options because there's one really, really exciting camera option here um, that I just love. And if you're a fan, if you're a bit of an older gamer, you're going to love this. So let's have a look. So you've got the usual chase cameras. We've got a near chase camera. Uh, break on. We've got a far chase camera. Look at this. Overhead helicopter cam like micro machines but rallying absolutely brilliant you can play the whole race you can play all the modes um in the game using this view and uh, when you get into sort of some of the whoa some of the um rally cross events where it's you against five other ai cars absolutely superb to drive in this i mean it's just oh i can't tell you how good it feels to have like an overhead rally game like this i think one actually came out on the xbox back in the day i'm sure they had like a an arcade style rally game that was this sort of view but um i don't know why more games don't include it it's so easy to do just to pull the camera out like that but um i don't know a lot of games don't so you've got bonnet cam and then hood cam and then back to the uh back to the interior see mud on the car there real time sort of mud effects absolutely brilliant uh, leaderboards you can see here at the moment they're not active I don't think at the moment but you can see here uh, friends in your network who played this event that would uh, pop up there with a leaderboard you can watch a really nice replay multiple camera angles so this is retro isometric so again taking that old school overhead view you can watch the replay back in that and the helicopter view we looked at and then cycle through all the usual camera views lovely stuff if you think it looks a little bit slow at the moment especially from the helicopter view bear in mind we're in the junior class at the moment so we're not sort of flying around in a an impreza or a skyline or something this is uh the very first level entry cars so let's come out the single stage and come back and have a look at some of the uh options and modes that are in this game obviously it's in a single race uh, we have to be careful that clock that tick count down in the bottom right hand corner we'll just go into a uh, sort of attract mode if we don't start something quick enough now it's, we've got multiplayer here this is what a lot of people would be interested in i don't think there's online multiplayer i'm going to check that with the developer but it looks like it's just local network multiplayer but as i say there is leaderboards there is this kind of um, asynchronous multiplayer called live events um, something very similar to what wrc had as well is that you sort of um i think it's weekly I think um, a weekly event where uh, everybody races the same track, same car, and uh, see who can post the fastest time online. So that's going to be awesome. I love stuff like that in games. And Rally Cross, I'm going to show you in a second. Skill games are really fun. Uh, first one I tried with that, you're racing against oncoming traffic. So it's a lot like a Sunday morning drive here in the UK. And let's have a look at the garage. We've had a quick look at this, but let's have a look at some of the closer things. Um, you've got upgrades you've got here you can change the decals so for you fans of uh, sort of customization and creation in games you've got all these features I don't know how they work yet properly but uh, look at this really cool in-game editor apologies I can't really uh, figure out what to do but if you spent some time with that you would figure that out but just know it's in there you can edit your uh, car liveries absolutely superb there's gonna be some really really excited people to see that who like doing that sort of thing you can change the color of your car really easily no problem with that you can go to a green or a yellow car yellow looks good you can change the wheel color or oh, maybe not black Oh, maybe not any of those, but <laughs> let's stick to a nice silver. But it's there if you want it. You can even change the colour of the mud flaps. Okay, what should we go with? Let's go with a blue. That looks really cool, actually. It's very Swedish, doesn't it? You've also got upgrades, generally. You can buy upgrades for the car. So you've got all these different sorts of wheels. You can see the price in the top right-hand corner. Uh, and the coins that you've got at the top of the screen. You earn them for just winning races and taking part in other events. So a lot of customization. If you're into your car customization, 
you're going to be super happy here. You can do setups. And you can buy out new parts here. So exhaust parts, you can upgrade to stage one, stage two, make your car faster. You can see the uh, attributes at the bottom of the screen there changing as I flick through those different exhausts, for example. You can change any of these. Uh, new turbo. I'm not a massive fan of uh, when games have this um, sort of fixed cursor. I prefer a floating cursor. Uh, looks like it's not in, but it sort of snaps to uh, the next thing. I find them a little bit frustrating to use. Um, but if you are in handheld, the game does fully support touchscreen. So another good thing there. This guy seriously has thought of pretty much everything. Uh, let's get back into the main menu. Have a look what else we've got. Let's have a look at Rallycross. This was really fun. Go back and do the first event. I've already done stage one. This track reminded me of Brands Hatch. I don't know if it's based on Brands Hatch. Really reminded me of Brands Hatch. Now, the other cars in the game, you uh, unlock by buying them. So you're going to have to grind for a bit to get some money. That's not a problem. But look at this. Six-player racing. All different uh, levels and stages. Excuse me while I flick through the cameras. But I've had a, a couple of goes at this race, and it's really, uh, really exciting. Bit easy to get off the start here. But um, yeah, yeah, I really come back at you. Especially if you take corners as badly as that. But look at these tracks, cool tracks, like rally tracks. Goes from um, gravel to asphalt. No doubt there's going to be sort of snow and mud and rain as we go on through the game. probably won't do the whole race of this just give you a bit of a flavor of it and then I'll probably edit to the uh, back to the main menu we could probably just start and quit to be honest can't we but just give you an idea we did one lap of this just to give you an idea very very cool um, just while I'm racing this as well I spoke to the developer and he's still working on stuff in the game there are new tracks coming as well even though there's plenty here at the moment uh, new tracks are planned and new content, so he's constantly working on this one. I think he's been um, working on these Rush Rally games for so many years. So let's quit out of this and go back to the main menu. I'm going to have a look at the career mode. Or one of the other options, actually. Let's have a look at the um, skill games, because that was quite fun. Now I'm currently on easy mode I think I'll check that in a second um, I don't know if I'm gonna try it on hard mode because the physics at the moment they feel okay the most important thing to me is this game is absolutely fun um, as you may have seen from my WRC review I really like that game but I'm terrible at it uh, some of the uh, the guys on my Twitter feed are just absolutely embarrassing me with how good they are the game but this I'm really getting so much like you, you get the feel of rallying but it's a lot more forgiving to drive. It's <laughs> getting bib there. So this is one of the skill games. So you've got to contend with traffic around the track as well. Whoa. Um, so yeah, the physics I was saying. Um, I don't think they're as realistic as, you know, a, a bigger budget sim. I still think they feel really fun to drive. And that's the most important thing for me at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try it on a harder level. See if it's just because I'm on an easier level at the minute. Maybe I'm getting a few more assists. But um, the car seems nice and grippy. Although, again, bearing in mind, these are lower spec cars. So they're not quite going as fast as like a Subaru would go. Whoa. Can I write this car off? I've got some... Um We'll come, we'll come out of this while we're talking. Um, got some other exciting news as well. Talking of controls, as I said, the game is fully touch screen enabled, uh, like it is on the iPhone. But most importantly, and quite excitingly, because a lot of you guys ask about this in racing games, the developer is working on um, GameCube controller support. I forgot what the <laughs> controller was called. But yeah, GameCube controller support is being worked on. Should be there for day one, uh, from what I understand. So it's going to have um, analog triggers, just like Grid does. So that's really exciting news. Uh, so let's have a look here. Let's have a get into a 
rally in a career mode. So, so we've got Finland, Sweden, Germany and Britain in this junior rally championship. Let's just get on and do this first stage to finish the video off. But hope you're liking the look of this one. Leave me a comment below what you think. It's kind of come out of nowhere. I did hear sort of um, rumours a, a few months back that this was being ported. But then it sort of just popped up on the issue out of nowhere. As I say, it's coming out on the 23rd of December. So it'd be great for uh, Christmas break. Just grab this one and uh, have your turkey and do some rallying. But as I say, for me at the moment, this feels like really fun to drive. So if you're more of a casual racing fan and struggle with rally games, and let's be honest, I did struggle um, with WRC and V Rally to an extent, although I found V Rally a little bit easier than uh, WRC. But this just feels really nice. I mean, you've got those racing lines on the um, track as well, like a Formula One game. That wasn't in WRC makes it a little bit easier you can obviously turn that off as well so we uh, whiz down this track but look how fast it is 60 frames a second barely dropping a frame I have seen a couple of little drops but really nothing to write home about and if you really are affected by it you can always drop the frame rate down to 30 frames a second get a more solid uh, solid experience but you know I've I think this feels fantastic at 60 frames a second. Really shifts. You say, yeah, leave me a comment below if you've played this on iOS, if you've uh, shied away from it because it's touchscreen controls, or if you've used the controller on iOS, let me know below. Let me know if you're going to reconsider it on the Switch, but if you've got any rally games that you're struggling with, definitely, definitely consider this. What I'm going to be doing is more content over the next month. Uh, I may do a career mode as we finish the first stage, see where we finished. Um, yeah, may do a career mode, certainly be looking at more content. I'm going to be um, keeping in touch with the developer, see if I can get some information on what's coming up as well to give you that information. Look how close that, f that front three was, 148 for all three of us, DDA Ariel nine seconds back, but yeah, what a close rally this is and I like the way it sort of... Um, tots up through the stages we'll do the second stage actually and then we definitely will finish the video um but just to see how we get on with the the rally of finland because it's a quite an exciting finish here. we've got the top three going into the second stage so it says the next event is a power stage event power stage is the last race in every event additional points and credits are awarded to the fastest drivers of a power stage i believe this was in uh, wrc as well has a power stage in that so i've got rain in this uh event and it was one of my um, issues with WRC was the rain effects look pretty poor just like white streaks um, this actually looks okay still kind of that white streaky effect but nowhere near as bad as um, WRC's graphics looked Let's see if we can do the rally from the top down view so you still got the same experience you still get the co-pilot call you still get the track markings Whoa, you still get my awful driving. Reverse. Go, go, go. And that could have cost us. Not quite sure where that bar is in the top uh, to the left. I think it may be telling us how far off we are, the other um, cars in the event. Let's go to a chase view. I know a lot of people like chase views in their games. Give you a little bit of footage of this. But look at that, really nice power sliding around corners. Alright, you're not going to have like absolute world, world class physics, but you know, if you want a fun racing game, and that's what it's all about for me, not about graphics. It's about can you put a game on and can it be fun? So we're on to gravel, a bit more slippery. You can definitely feel the different um, track surfaces, so that's cool. Gravel here definitely feels slipperier. Let's see there, go off the track. I'd like to see some snow events, so maybe when I come back with more videos, we'll have uh, some snow events, some other weather effects. 
And, uh, yeah, I think it'd be quite a good idea. If you'd like me to do a career mode on this, let me know below. If there's anything particularly you want to see, just drop me a comment. Uh, please consider subscribing if you've uh, arrived here to look at this video and you're not subscribed yet. Um, lots of simulation videos on the channel. It's kind of the way I'm heading. So if you like your simulations and you've got a switch, definitely consider subscribing. Really appreciate it. It's power slide over the corner, over the finish. Taking out a marshal. And we finished four, some four seconds back there. Eight seconds off of first place. So let's see at the end of the rally what happens. We've got 15 plus two points, so 17 points. So that's the end of the finish rally. So then we move on to Mexico. Okay. So there you go. So be six events in the junior rally. There were, I think, if I recall, five different tiers all the way up to sort of the world or the equivalent of the World Rally Championship. Um, so plenty of content. Uh, you've got the career mode, you've got single race, the, that live event, rally cross events, skill games, hot lapping, I would imagine, would be, uh, again, having uh, online. And uh, again, all these options, you can change. Absolutely brilliant stuff. So there you go. I'm going to end the video. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're looking forward to this one now. Um, I'd imagine it's taken quite a few people by surprise. If it has and uh, you're thinking of now picking it up, please let me know below. And I know the developer would love to know um, your thoughts on this. I think he's really eager to get this one out and uh, really looking forward to seeing how people receive it. So please let him know what you think. Let me know below and I will see you guys next time. See you everyone. Bye bye.